I was playing piano with one of my best friends three days ago and we were talking about the difficulty of songs to play versus how beautiful they sound because of course some songs are very very hard to play but they just don't sound that pretty. On the other hand there's a lot of songs that sound really beautiful that in essence are just extremely easy to play. In this course, I'm going to teach you all about that. There's a specific song out there that I want to highlight for this course, which is Nivola Bianchi. Beautiful song by Ludovica Einaudi. I hope you know it. If not, you have to look it up and listen to it. But that song, as beautiful as it is, is in essence really easy to play. Now in this course, I'm not going to teach you how to play that entire song. That's not the goal. I already did a couple of very professional lessons about that. This is more of a house room setting. Like we're just gonna have a little chat and I'm gonna teach you how this kind of stuff actually works. So in this course, I wanna capture what makes it so easy to play these songs. So you can actually do that yourself. You can identify them and figure out which songs sound really pretty yet are easy to play. And in order to illustrate that, I've got Nivoli Bianchi here by Ludovica Einaudi. If you don't know this song yet, make sure to have a listen at it. It's really beautiful, but it's also really easy to play. And that's what we're going to discuss in this course. Now, don't worry if you already know this song, that's absolutely fine. I'm not here to teach you the entire song. I've done that in different lessons. And at the end of the course, I will show you a playthrough of this lesson, as well as my full lesson for this song, the original lesson. And that I did which is over 50 minutes long so you can learn the entire song if you want to but the main target of this course is why is this song so easy to play and how can I identify other songs that are easy to play as well. So we're gonna be doing the beginning of this course right here on YouTube the rest will be on Skillshare because this is actually a premium course but the good news is you can actually get not one but two months of free access to this course as well as the ultimate piano course and all of the other courses that are on Skillshare, which are more than 20,000 courses. Follow the link in the description box down below, okay? So if you click the link below, you will immediately be sent to this entire course, including the playthrough of this song, including the full 50 minute lesson as a bonus. And also, of course, this course where I'm going to teach you why this song is so incredibly easy to play. That's enough talk for now. Let's get right into it. Okay, so as I said, this is going to be more of a house room setting kind of thing. I've got the whiteboard right here with four chords on them. Now, if you don't know what a chord is, that is absolutely fine. We'll get right through this. However, this course is going to be a little bit higher paced. If you want a step by step walkthrough of what chords are and skills and chord progressions, I've got the ultimate piano course for you also on Skillshare. However, here we're going through it a little bit quicker. So all you need to know for now is that a chord is a combination of three. And we have those three notes on the chalkboard right here. Now you don't need to remember the name of these chords, just remember the notes that are in them. So the way that works is this, and this, and this, and that is a chord. Right there. One, two, three, four chords. So for the first chord, F, A flat and C, right here on the piano, okay? Playing them a little bit weird so you can see. D flat, F, A flat for the second chord, right here. D flat, F and A flat. A flat, C, E flat, right here. And E flat, G and B flat. Okay? Okay, so what is really important for you to understand is we have these four chords right here, right? I call them chord one, two, three, and four. And after, after you've played chord four, you simply go back to the beginning and play chord one again. We call that a chord progression because it progresses through this way, chord one, chord two, chord three, chord four, and then you go back again. So you can play that the whole time. And that is the whole song. That is Ludovico and Audi's Nivoli Bianchi. Now you may say, Mark, that doesn't sound anything like it. Ah, but these are the chords. This is the structure, okay? This is where we have to start. I will now adapt it a little bit so that we can actually get this song. Okay, so since you don't believe me that this is actually the entire song, let me show you how that goes, okay? Let's play this song as it actually goes and I will show you what I'm doing later. So, this is the intro.
Okay, agree with me right here? After this the song goes... Okay, sounds familiar, right? Hopefully. If this doesn't sound familiar, it means that you haven't listened to this song yet. It's actually very important that you listen to this song at least once before watching this course, otherwise it's not going to make any sense. So we had this intro bit. Basically what we did in the intro is we played this chord progression twice. Actually, the first time I played it, I played this single chord right here as it is, okay? Look, right here, I play F, A flat and C. So I'm already playing this chord. Then I'm playing this chord, D flat, F, A flat. However, I didn't play the D flat here, I moved it up. That doesn't matter, it's still a D flat major chord, okay? So whether I play the D flat here or there, it doesn't matter. So we already have the first two chords down, here, boom, and second chord. Now, for the third chord, we're playing right here, you say, hey Mark, but that starts on an E flat, that's weird, this one starts on A flat. Again, it doesn't matter where you play the E flat, it's just an inversion. So where we have A flat, C, E flat normally, I now decided to drop the E flat all the way down here. And we have the third chord of Nivoli Bianchi, the intro. And now for the last one, we get lucky, look. E flat, G, B flat is just in the natu natural chord progression. Now, what does Ludovico Anadi do? He moves to a sus4 chord to make it sound a little bit more interesting, okay? But technically that is still in this chord range because we end up there. So I can play with one hand because it's not that many notes and then I can point you here. So we go here, chord one, chord two, chord three, take a little bit of a vacation but end up on that chord, okay? Now we go through it again. So we've already done the chord progression once, we go through it again you don't have to remember this, I'm not teaching you the song, I'm just showing you how the song is built up, okay? Here we go, first chord. Now again we play this second chord the same, but he uses the left hand to play a D flat right here. Now we have four notes. Oh my god, what is going on? It doesn't matter, okay? Still D flat chord, look. D flat, F, A flat, D flat. Boom. Right here. Oh my god, again, four notes, it doesn't matter. Look, the A flat chord is right here. This chord, A flat, C, E flat. And he's simply adding another E flat on the bottom. And then we switch E flat, G, B flat, that's the final chord, and an E flat on top. So, I know that went a little quick, but I'm basically proving to you right here that this chord progression is being played twice in Nivoli Bianchi in the first bit. And it goes on for the entire song, okay? And I'm gonna prove that to you as well. Why? Not to make a point, but to actually make you see how easy this song is to play. Why is it easy? Because if you learn these four chords right here, you can actually play this entire song, or at least remember it very easily. Yes, you will have to practice your right hand a little bit for that melody line, but it won't take that long because the left hand is gonna follow this structure from now on for the rest of the song. So I think it's time to head over to the next lesson of this course in which we're going to dissect this part right here. Because of course it sounds completely different than the intro and it has to be different chords, right? It's gonna be completely different, amazingly hard to play, no, of course not. It's going to be very easy. It's based off these chords as well. We keep the same chord progression and we're going to see that in lesson two of this course. So, so as I said before, we, so as I said before, I'm going to continue this course on Skillshare. Why is that? Because I actually want you to learn it. I don't want you to just watch this on YouTube and go like, ah, oh, like, yeah, I'll watch a little bit and then I'll leave again. This is really important stuff. So, the important stuff, the important courses, I put them on Skillshare because it forces you to pay a little bit of attention. 
Why is that? Skillshare isn't free. It's a premium website. You pay $8.95 a month and it basically works like Netflix. So you pay your monthly amount and you get access to all of the courses on Skillshare, which by now are over 20,000 courses. Not just for piano, also for graphic design, calligraphy, singing, marketing, all kind of stuff. However, because I'm a Skillshare premium teacher, I can actually offer you two months free. So what I want you to do is I want you to commit to learning this stuff. I want you to commit to learning my ultimate piano course and all of the other courses that I have up on Skillshare because it is really valuable information, things that I wish I would have known when I started to play the piano. So what I ask of you is to head over to Skillshare via the link in the description box down below. You get two months of free access. If you are really committing, you can finish all of this easily within the two months and you pay zero dollars for this premium content. However, if you're slacking and you're like, eh, I don't really feel like watching this today and you're just sitting back and being lazy, then yes, after two months, if you still would like access to the content, you will have to pay $8.95 a month, which is still a bargain, okay? I only once in my life hired a piano teacher and it cost me 50 euros for one hour. And I did that, did that for two months and it was, what is that, 400 bucks. I'm giving you this stuff for free. If you can commit to do two months, two months for free, you can watch all of the stuff that I have on Skillshare and I have plenty of time left to learn something else like internet marketing or calligraphy. If you like the platform, which I think you should, because it's a great platform, I mean, it's the Netflix of online courses. Then you can just stay a member for $8.95 a month and learn new stuff. Remember, learning new things in life is so important. It's not just piano, it's also other things. But if you don't wanna pay at all, but you do wanna get access to this content, simply subscribe and then see if you can finish it within two months. You can cancel anytime anyway. That's all the time I've got right here on YouTube. For now, all I've got left to say is click the link below, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and make sure to keep playing.